didn't have to come back for this senior season after they won the title, could have gone to the NBA, but you, you decided to come back to, to Philly and, and finish it out. What have you enjoyed the most about this senior season for Villanova? Just the relationships, you know, definitely with the younger guys, Dylan Painter, who's a freshman who I wouldn't have had a, have had a chance to play with um, if I left. You know, just growing with Jalen, um, who I'm becoming really, really close friends with. Um, you know, Mikel. Just, just the relationship is one thing that's, you know, that that's that's great this year. I, I love senior night, and you've already had your last game at home. I mean, I, you see the emotion that comes out of players when it's done, and I, I love that stuff. When you, when you take inventory, you look around the building and you think about everything that you guys have done and your family and this and that, was there a moment, any, was there one particular moment that, that really they got to you or as you've reflected back on it, you think, wow, this, this has really been something? Uh, I think right, right before they started calling the three seniors, um, I think Daryl was first, and we were all up at the top of the student section, and we just looked at each other. We were like, man, this is the last time we're here, you know, just stepping on this court, playing on this court together. And I think that's when it kind of hit, hit us three finally. Um, so that one was, that, that was a, a little emotional, <laughs> uh, emotional time up there. But after that, you know, we knew it was back to business. I love your game because I don't, you never seem to be too, in a hurry and you never seem to do too much. How, how do you, how do you explain what allows you to be, it seems, so patient all the time? Yeah, you know, I, I don't want to just be about going going to get buckets because I know if I do that, uh, it, that's going to be a negative for my for my team and also myself. So I just try to let the game come to me. You know, we have talented guys around here, so I try not to, you know, force uh, you know to force the issue as mm -hmm. much as I used to before, just because the talent is there and you know it's good to see those guys really coming into their own. I was at a charity event with your coach, Jay Wright, back before the season started. And I told you before we started, I tried to get some dirt on you. I sent him a text. I didn't hear back before we sat down. So this is your chance to tell me something about him. Is he ever bummy? Does he ever show up not looking put together? Because the guy that good looking, that smart, that sharp, it's just annoying to me, man. He never seems to be out of place. Yeah, nah, n never. You know, even when he comes in, he has sweatpants on. He'll have like a kind of like a polo, and he, you know, he he still, you know, always looks good. So it's like, <laughs> like man, you know, you got to try to find little things to kind of beat him out. You know, now since I got to college, I started doing the bow tie to kind of stand out a little bit. He was getting all the attention, so you know, but nah, he he always looks put together. Just a final thought on him: is there is there is there one particular thing that has meant the most to you about the relationship you share with your head coach? It, how much he values, you know, us growing up as men more than basketball players, and I think that's the biggest thing, and I think that's really rare. Um, you know, he, he cares about you growing as a person. He, he doesn't just care about winning games. He cares about your growth, you know, how you're going to do you know, in the real world when that basketball stops bouncing, and that's the biggest thing. Um, you know, he, he teaches you how to grow up, how to, how to mature, how to be a man, how to handle school like a man, how to handle, you know, meeting different people, and how to just... You know, to be a man of character, and that's the one thing that really stood out to me. Thanks for watching. If you want more great content, be sure to subscribe to ESPN's YouTube channel so you'll always stay up to date on all things SVP, which sounds awesome. You don't want to miss out.